move into the map screen by pressing Finish Setup in the top right hand corner. As you can see, we are now in the map screen. We're going to describe all the actions and attributes of the map screen now. We're going to start navigating the courtside map screen from the top right hand corner. The first item is the start clock button, which is in red. To start the clock, you press the button. As you can see, the timer is starting to count down. To stop the clock, you press the blue stop clock button. It is important to remember the scoreboard is timestamped within courtside, so make sure the game clock within courtside mirrors the clock inside your stadium. If you need to edit the clock, press the edit clock button and edit the time by the up and down arrows before pressing save. Move on to scoring in courtside. Points are recorded by selecting the player's name, then the appropriate score. We're going to select number one, Zach Verti. As you can see, the blue number panel in the middle has now been highlighted. When a three throw is made, select the player's name and then select plus one. When a field goal is made, select the player's name then plus two. When a three-point field goal is made, select the player's name, then plus three. This sequence can also be in reverse, which means you can select one for a field goal and then assign it to a player. You can select two for a field goal and then assign it to a player. The progressive score then appears beside the player name. And the pro progressive team score is added to the display at the top of the screen. Now I'm going to describe fouls in courtside scoring. Personal fouls are recorded by selecting the player's name, then the foul. Disqualification, technical, or unsportsmanlike fouls are located under each other in the other tab. To allocate a personal foul, select a player's name, then the foul. To allocate a technical foul, select the player's name, then other, then technical foul. Note, if your association utilizes Sinbin, a timer will appear as it does in this test database. This is configured within the competition setup on your database outside of courtside. To allocate an unsportsmanlike foul, select the player's name, then other, then unsportsmanlike foul. To allocate a disqualification foul against the player's name, press other, and then press disqualifying foul. When a player reaches their maximum foul count or is disqualified, the name is struck out. No further actions can be assigned. As we see for the Southern Mariners, number 23, Kayad Kehoe. To allocate a bench technical foul, select the team name at the bottom line and assign other technical foul. This sequence can also occur in reverse, where you can select the foul first, then the player, just as we can scoring. The progressive foul count then appears beside the player name and the progressive team foul count is added to the display at the top of the screen. We will add a few more fouls now. To see the bonus feature activated. Timeout functionality on the courtside scoring app. You select timeout, select the team. As you can see under the team name timeouts remaining has reduced from two to one. Please remember to stop your clock. After the timeout period of one minute has been filled, press start clock again. 